Hey everybody, this is Praxis and it's been quite a day today. Uh, it's sort of unexpected, although we can't really claim total ignorance. What happened is one of our chickens has been sitting on eggs for a while and apparently it's been, it's been a while because the first one hatched today and we had to really scramble to kind of rejigger things. This is where their old uh, run was. You can see the uh, uh, sort of square of bricks on the ground. That used to be their old entrance over there. And we're segregating the mom and her uh, chicks from the rest of them because uh, we're not really sure how they're going to interact with each other. The mom really gets picked on a lot and uh, we just want to let the chicks get a little bit bigger before they uh, start interacting with the rest of the chickens. And we'll do some research to find out the best way to, to go about that. Uh, so it's been a little traumatic for her. I'd, I'd poke you guys in there except, uh, you know, she's been through enough today. Uh, the rest of the chickens have been through a lot today too because they're used to laying their eggs in there and you can see one of their nesting boxes just got set outside here, uh, you know, near where their door was uh, to kind of be like, oh, you know, you can <laughs> lay your eggs out here. Uh, and the other ones, we've got four in total, uh, the other ones are uh, right in there and there's one that we're cleaning, uh, cleaning out, the one that had been being used. So this is going to be where our four chickens are going to be staying. Uh, until I finish this structure, really. Uh, so these guys are outside. Uh, the other male that we're uh, kind of keeping um, uh, in protective custody, I guess. Uh, you know, he's up over there. Uh, and so we've got like three factions of chickens right now. Uh, and we're working on this. I was not able to put as much uh, time into this today uh, as I would have liked because it essentially took five hours to rejigger everything, move everything around, and. Uh, I, I had to run out and get some uh, chicken uh, feed for the little chicks. It's kind of a different feed for the little chicks versus the full-grown chickens, and I just neglected to uh, pick that stuff up, so I didn't have it in stock. So I, I you know, had a lot to do. A lot to do. Five hours later, was able to start working on this. Uh, I believe yesterday I had uh, this guy up and the other post up, strung a line between the two, and today I've got. Uh, all but one of the uh, the other uh, posts. Uh, they're all cut at least on one side. Uh, these are the tall ones for this side, eight feet high, and uh, these ones over here, various lengths, are going to be for the upper wall, and those are all going to be somewhere around five feet long. Now, I didn't cut them uh, down to five feet because uh, I don't know exactly where they're going to be. I'm going to kind of put this stuff up, get those guys up, kind of eyeball uh, roof pitch that's looking good to me, and uh, then we're going to mark a line, strike a line across all of them, and then get them all uh, cut to the, the same size. Just like I was talking about yesterday, you don't want to uh, presuppose all the heights because the uh, foundation might have some little bumps and swells in it and everything. We want to get all the posts uh, in position and number them. That's critical. You know, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to label this one as the south uh, southeast corner. That one over there is the northeast corner. And, you know, Make sure that, like, you know, once you mark them, you know where they go later on. You could even, uh, you know, if you're going to number them, you could put a little uh, number down under where, they, under where their foot's going to be. So, uh, so that's the idea. Uh, tomorrow morning, it's getting a little buggy now, so I'm not going to keep cutting out here. But tomorrow morning, I'm going to come out and uh, start getting these guys all vertical. Uh, my father's coming tomorrow, and we're going to be doing some more uh, lumber uh, cutting at the, uh, off the sawmill. Uh, he needs some more lumber, I need some more lumber, so we're going to be working on that. But I'm hoping I can get this stuff ready before that because I want to use the sawmill, once we have it all open, to uh, cut two lines in here because, well, I mean, it's going to flip you guys off. We need this at the top of all these posts so that we can take the, uh, the roof joist and set it right on the side there. So uh, I need to kind of leave a middle finger up. And it, it, it's hard enough to cut with the grain of the wood as it is, and this stuff is so hard to cut through. I really want to just use a sawmill, so we'll take all these guys, lay them all flat, and then just cut a penetrating uh, line at two heights. It'll go super fast that way, and they'll be very precise and well done. That's all for tomorrow, though. So, not a ton done today, but uh, it was an interesting day. That's it. Thanks for watching.